In this video, we are going to look at how to mount a plate cylinder on a Mark Andy Scout press. After mounting your plate to the proper cylinder, you need to select the plate rod or pin that secures the plate to the proper position on the press. There are two important things to observe about the plate pin before you begin. The first is to notice how the end of the pin that inserts in the pinhole on the gear side of the press has a spring-loaded tip. This will come into play during the mounting process. Secondly, the operator side of the pin has your adjustment dials. It is important to have them centered in the middle of their movement range so you'll be able to fully use the adjustment available once the plate is mounted on the press. Next, place the plate cylinder in the press and notice that the center hole of the cylinder will match up to one of the holes on the plate pin on the press. The tooth count of the cylinder determines which hole on the plate pin line up. You will notice that the plate pin has four holes. The plate cylinder was left out of this photo so you can easily see the plate pin holes on the gear side of the press. When inserting the plate rod, notice that there is a notch in the pin hole and a small pin in the rod. The two must match up for the plate to be properly mounted and secured. Insert the plate rod all the way through the cylinder and it should line up with the proper hole on the gear side. This is where you will feel the spring-loaded tip on the end of the rod working. If the small pin was properly inserted in the notch and the spring-loaded tip went into the proper hole, you should then make sure that the gear on the plate cylinder is meshed properly with the gear on the press. Now carefully rotate the plate pin to around the 2 o'clock position and you should hear a click as the cylinder locks into place. Once it locks in place, the cylinder should be secure and not rotate freely or move from side to side. That's all there is to it. Practice the procedure several times to become familiar with the operation and get the feel of all the parts working. Repeat the process at each print station and your print cylinders will be mounted and ready to print.